Hello, this is Rita. Just wanted to talk about simplifying your drawings. Here's a nice photo that I found. I tend to like just everyday mundane subjects. So but when I draw them, I'm concentrating on all of the areas and uh, what's important to capture and um, what gives it its charm. So that's what I'm focusing on when I'm drawing. And I'm just going to do this one in pencil. I'll just do a little of it. And I drew, I drew a, another version of it so you don't have to watch me draw the whole thing. But it's fun for me to try to draw fast. Then I'm then I am really more picking up the essence of the subject, really. And I'm leaving out all the, the unimportant stuff. I just like, I just like the look of a brief subject. Try to get the important angles in there. And uh, exaggerate some lines. So, anyway, I would draw the dog next, but I've got one here that I drew. And that way you don't have to wait for me to draw it. And now I'll just paint it. So, in the picture, I like to decide whether I'm going to use the colors and I like these colors because they're very neutral and just seems calm. So uh, I'll do something similar. And I think the important thing is the shape of this foot that's facing you to show that it's off the ground, I will put the shadow un underneath it, not touching it. I think that's important there. And I just, as I look, I decide what what needs to be said, and not too much more. It's very difficult sometimes, and I forget that I just want to do what's important, not too much. So I'll go with kind of a, he has kind of a pink shirt on. And I'm just going to, I try to let the brush, oops, make some, basically make some decisions for me. So I, I'm a little scrappy with it. And I could go and add a little color into something if I want, let it, bleed in. So instead of doing the light area and the dark area, 
I just leave the light area white. And let's see, how should I do these? This. I kind of wanted to accentuate those pockets. Um, so I could just put like a little, maybe a little shadow under them. A little shadow in. wasn't all necessary. I think that this arm should be defined a little better, maybe. There. It's a little messy. I like to let the colors from the different areas run into one another. I just like the look of the paint when it does that. The shadow on this foot. So the dog is white, but um, so I'll use a blue just to do his shadow area. Give him a little bit, just ground, just ground him a little. Um, could put a little bit of a warmth, like the sun shining on these little guy. I'm also thinking that I want that belt, his belt, to stand out more. So I'll just give it some color. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. So, more color to do the hat. I think I'll just go ahead and stay in the neutrals and not make the hat important. I could give it a bright color, but I'm just going to stick with the original plan. And a little shadow here would be good. Okay. Now, okay, so there's really nothing in the scene that I want to put as a, um, whoops. So, um, I'll just make I think it needs some background of some kind. So maybe I'll just make them full green like they're walking in the park. And the green will also accentuate the... And I, I like to be a little sloppy with this. And now near the dog... I think I will put some dark to make it, make him kind of show up as a white dog. He needs something. That's where I kind of, um, 
after I do the drawing, I can edit the drawing with the paint. So that kind of worked, I think. So I could bring the grass down here. Well, this is a little weird. So I can come back and fix something if I don't like it, which a lot of times it's a bad idea, but let me do that right there. I still want to show off these pockets a little. Okay. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. See, whenever I go back, it seems to be a mistake. That's okay. Paper is good enough to where I can edit a little. You know, should have not, shouldn't have done that, but that just goes to show you that first time around is better than if you start fussing with it. So, just an idea there. It's just fun to explore, and everybody can do this kind of thing. Thanks a lot. Bye.